This is Robert Murdoch from the Go Engineer Technical Support Department with another Quick Tips video. Today I will be showing you how to change the serial number that your copy of SolidWorks is using. The most common situation for a need for this would be if your company had uh, some standalone licenses of SolidWorks and then converted those to be network licenses. Uh, you get a brand new serial number, um, you don't want to uninstall and reinstall, that's tedious, and, and you don't have to. Um, the best thing to do is to modify the installation and change the serial number there. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Process is the same for Windows XP or Vista or Windows 7. We're going to go into our control panel, go to programs, programs and features, and in here it's going to pull up the list of all the programs we have installed on our computer. In here you'll have all the versions of SolidWorks. If you have multiple versions of SolidWorks, always select the newest one. We're not uninstalling, we're going to modify. So you're going to find SolidWorks in the list. You can either select it and then select change here at the top of the screen. Or if that option isn't visible, you can right click on the option and then select change there. And this will open your SOLIDWORKS installation manager. If you have SOLIDWORKS 2009 or earlier, it will take you straight to the, uh, so the serial numbers page. For SOLIDWORKS 2010, 11, and 12, it will take you to this page. You'll select modify the individual installation and then hit next. Keep in mind that if you installed SOLIDWORKS using an administrative image, you cannot do this because you cannot modify the installation. Um, and so, if that's your situation, you'll have to look up how to do that elsewhere. So we're going to select Modify and hit Next. And this is going to take us to our serial numbers page. Now I've blurred these out because I don't want to share my serial numbers with you. But what you've got here is all of the serial numbers that your SOLIDWORKS uses. Uh, you'll change the SOLIDWORKS number. And if you have new numbers for these, say you have um, a simulation license associated with your network or flow or any of those, then you'll want to change it in those fields too. If you only have one serial number, then you, you probably don't have these checked. But here, you'll change the serial number and then hit Next. SolidWorks will connect to the servers and verify that the information that you have put in is valid, which sometimes takes a little while. And there we go. Now I've got this hotfix alert, and everyone should know about this if they don't already. If your operating system uses commas instead of periods as decimal points, this is a standard usually found in Britain, then you should not upgrade to SOLIDWORKS 2012 Service Pack 0. You should wait until Service Pack 1 comes out. Otherwise, it will mess up your, your uh, toolbox very badly. So this is just a hotfix reminder just letting us know about that. So we'll close that out. Okay, so now it takes us to the product selection screen. If your SOLIDWORKS version has changed, then you might have to go through here and say maybe add in toolbox or something. Um, but most likely nothing's changed. So you probably don't have to change anything. I'll hit next. Got a little summary. Might want to check some of these settings. Um, most likely you won't change any of this. And then we're going to click on modify now. and it should be very quick. Um, some people's computers, if you installed via download, they might have a small download that you might have to do. It's only gonna be about five megs, not, not anything big. And it should be very quick. I'm gonna pause this so you don't have to watch my progress bar go, but it, it should be very quick. Okay, the modify is complete. It'll give you a summary of the successful installations. Like I said, it should only take just a little bit because um, yeah, because you're not really changing anything. Unless you've added in features, then it'll take some time. Um, here we go. Um, there are some great options here. Show me what's new in 2012. Um, I know SolidWorks would really appreciate everyone taking a survey. 
Um, but yeah, so just fill this out real quick and then uh, you can click on finish and you're all done. Then your SolidWorks will be using it. Uh, you may have to activate if it's uh, say if you're changing from one standalone to another. Uh, always remember if you're changing the serial number and you're using a standalone license, always release the license off of that computer before you change. This has been Robert Murdoch with another Go Engineer Quick Tips video. Have a great day.